Alright everybody, say hello to the newest member of the World's Worst Fishing Shop. This is a uh, this is actually my buddy's fish, uh, one of my good friends growing up, James. Uh, he caught this fish with me one day here in Tallahassee and um, she went about seven and a half pounds and uh, that was his first really big bass so um, he just hasn't had it in a number of years and I recently reacquired it from where it has been staying. and. Uh, Thought it would make a nice addition to the uh, work area. And uh, we have a eyeless bloodline hanging out of its mouth, so it looks kind of neat. But uh, anyway, today we're going to be doing Morning Dawn. Um, so I actually have to make an order for Morning Dawn, and I've gotten a lot of requests to do this color, and uh, I finally kind of figured it out last week. Um, when I was playing around uh, working on that order and uh, so this isn't like my first time at it I have a little bit of practice but um, I'm gonna show you at least what I was able to figure out for morning dawn and uh, hopefully it'll look good so picked up the boat today from Bass Pro Shops and uh, this is an all-new decal um, so Lake Seminole has a lot of trees and uh, I was fishing up Spring Creek one day this past spring and uh, a storm blew in and the wind was just insane and I was in the middle of this big stump field so I had to try to idle out of the stump field um, to get to the channel where I could run and the wind was so strong I couldn't troll against it uh, so I had to idle with the big motor and you know those stumps stick up you know just enough out of the water to scratch you know you'll see some scratches here and one just went down the side and just wrecked this, uh, this decal here um, so the guys up at Bass Pro replaced that and more importantly oh man I have trim again so hopefully I can go fishing tomorrow uh, fingers crossed though it's been it's been a while um, well it's been about two or three weeks and um, you know I don't know if I'll have time tomorrow but hey at least I have power trim and uh, and now it's an option again so that's um yeah you don't don't ever take it for granted guys so anyway we're gonna head back into the uh shop and uh, we'll get started on morning dawn okay so we're gonna start out kind of doing things a little bit different um i'm not gonna add the color right away i'm going to cook these uh completely clear um just so that we can see the the clear plastic uh this is the new um stuff that I got from uh, Dead On Plastics. They have a new um, uh, formula, like it's, it, it's a new product altogether. And uh, I've had it about a week, or actually less than a week. Um, no, nah, actually about a week. And ran a bunch of baits with them last night and uh, really had a great time using the stuff. It's really easy to use and, uh, and it's pretty clear. Um, actually, it's really clear. So, um, and I'm trying to break an old habit uh, of mixing the color before I cook the plastic um, you know because if you cook the plastic first then you can add color um, and and not overdo it for example you know because once you put it in there you can't take it out um, and you know this way I think you can maybe control uh, your experiment your color experiments um, I, I think maybe a little easier you can add a few drops stir it in and you'll know what it's really going to look like. If you add the color before you cook the plastic, you're kind of stuck with whatever comes out of the microwave. And, uh, and if it's already too thick, you can't really, you know, you would have to add more plastic to it. Um, so, you know, some people do it one way, some people do it the other way. Um, so, I'm going to try and break that habit, but you know how they say uh, old habits die hard. All right, so I have both cups in there, and uh, we'll do it for... Uh, we'll try five and a half minutes and uh, see where that gets us. I'm still learning um, the cook time, so to speak, of the new stuff. And, um, you know, I, uh, I just don't want to overcook it. And, um, you know, different plastisols 
reach full, uh, you know, reach full cooking temperature, maybe with different amounts of time. Um, so slight learning curve, but uh, having a good time. So we'll meet you back here in five minutes and two seconds. Hey, so they are almost cooked all the way. Ah, well, they're still a little gooey, but uh, that's okay. We're going to go ahead and mix up here to make sure that the bottom gets cooked fully. Because what happens is sometimes, you know, you, you cook a cup and, um, you know, let's say you didn't mix the bottom. You know, when you, when you take it out, the majority of it's going to be fully cooked, but then maybe the bottom is still a little tacky. And, um, you know, that just comes with, uh, you know, the more you heat plastic, the more you'll figure out, okay, this needs exactly three minutes or three and a half or what have you. And, um, you know, you can pretty much bet on it all being cooked. But, um, you know, we're just going to take the extra step here to go ahead and mix before it's cooked. That way we know that it cooks completely full, um, um, you know, the first time, so to speak. So, um, anyway, we're going to pop these back in for a little while longer, and, uh, and then we'll meet you back. Okay. I think they are cooked all the way here. Stir this up a little bit. Yeah, looking good. Looking cooked. Looking fully cooked and uh, looking gin clear so I think we'll be able to um, you know really um, see uh, what the color is going to look like uh, kind of in stages so to speak. Um, let me turn this uh, white snake down here. Let me see. Okay so Morning Dawn is basically like two shades of purple almost. Uh, you have like a dark purple side then like a a lighter purple pinkish side uh, so for the darker side what I was able to figure out at least for me is to mix a lighter shade of purple which is just this regular purple okay and then mix that with some black grape so we're just gonna add some here and this is um, and this is a fairly light shade you can tell there it's got you know a lot of red hint to it um, okay and then we're gonna darken that up with some black grape, which is uh, one of my favorite pig, uh, pigments to work with, just in general. So we're gonna darken that up a little bit, but we're not gonna add as much. Okay, so now let's get a spoon here and let's mix that in. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. And I'll probably thicken that up. Um, that's about the right shade, but um, but it needs to be a little thicker. So we'll go ahead and add some more of the lighter purple. And then we'll add a little bit more black grape. Okay, some black grape. Now let's see if we get something uh, that, that we like a little better here. You know, it, it, it's almost June bugish in a way. So yeah, that, that right there is looking okay. It's, Triple some down there. That'll kind of show us what we're dealing with a little better. Okay. Let me get on this side. There we go. A little bit better lighting. All right. So that's what we have. Okay. It's it's basically like a light June bug. Uh, now for the other side, it's going to be more bright pink base. Um, so, sorry, I got pigment all over my hand. So hot pink. Nothing better than that. So we're going to... Squirt some of that in there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and uh, stir this up. See what we get. Okay. Oh, that is looking very hot pinkish, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that with some of the lighter purple, just to kind of slightly redden it a little bit uh, because this color has a lot of red in it. So we don't want it exactly hot pink, but we want it you know, more of a more of a pink purple, so to speak. Um, so, for example, this is the shade that I got the other day um, of of the same thing, doing the same thing. So, I'm probably going to add just a touch more of the purple. All right. Let's see what we get here. I should slightly darken it, maybe just a little bit. Yeah. So. Those are basically going to be our two colors, and uh, I think that's going to look okay. So, um, you know, fairly simple. Uh, you can probably buy Morning Dawn colorant. In fact, I know you can. 
Um, and uh, you know, I'm just, I'm doing like a laminate version of it because uh, that's what the customer wanted. So um, yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some salt and then we're gonna make some Cinco's with it. And uh, this is the worm blend plastic um, specifically for worms. Uh, so it's a little softer than the jerk bait stuff that I use for most baits. You know, jerk bait's more of like a medium. This is a, you know, a soft medium for worms and um, I think makes a pretty good Cinco. So uh, now we're gonna add some salt. So being that I work out of a garage in humid Florida, my salt gets a little bit of moisture in it, so you'll probably you'll probably see these bubble up a little bit. Oh my god, that's amateur hour, just spilled all that salt. So we're gonna do less salt in these than I normally would for a Cinco because this newer plastic is a little more dense and it's already sort of a uh, of, of a sinking plastisol. So I don't need to add as much salt to get the weight and density that I want and the sinking aspect. Um, that's kind of already a part of it, so to speak. Um, so, you know, I would normally use a full scoop, a full quarter of a uh, measuring cup per one measuring cup, um, but I don't need that. I'm only using about half that, and uh, and I could probably get away with even less. But uh, you know, you'll see it's you know got a little bit of bubbles on the top, and uh, and a lot of people have bubble trouble with salt uh, because it holds moisture and. One thing I'm going to start doing that you could also do is to, um, you know, get like a, a permeable little pouch, so to speak, and fill it with rice and, uh, and set that in there. And uh, that will draw a lot of the moisture out of your salt. And, uh, and then the bag will make sure that your rice doesn't obviously blend in with the salt because uh, you probably don't want to put rice in your baits. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the next big thing, but uh, I'm certainly not going to be the guy that tries it. So. Anyway, these are, uh, these are just about ready to go. We're gonna pop them back in the microwave for a little bit, get them a little warmer, and uh, we'll make some baits. I love the song. You got that day, James Dean day dream look in your eye. It's really just Taylor Swift's world, and we're all just living in it. I mean, really, she pretty much owns planet Earth. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan, but uh, yeah, she, she pretty much took over the world like Pinky and the Brain always wanted to do, or or Dr. Evil. She she succeeded where Dr. Evil, Dr. Evil failed. Okay, so we are almost about ready to shoot here. So we're gonna stir some of that salt back off the uh, bottom of the cup. So I, I've kind of got that camera angled a little bit so that it's not too zoomed in so you can hopefully kind of see the whole thing. Um, so anyway, we're just gonna stir that one. Give that one a quick stir. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick, I'm gonna do a quick temperature check, and, and if you're using a heat gun like I am, I like to kind of mix the plastic up a little bit and then shoot, and then uh, take the temperature. Um, you know, because that way you're not just getting the surface temperature; you're kind of mixing it up and then taking it. So, um, anyway, these are actually both really low; they're about 310 degrees. But what I found is with this new plastic, it's still really workable, even at low temperatures. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot these at 310. <laughs> they were both at 310, and the other one was uh, a little bit closer to three. So here we go. Morning Dawn Cinco's. So we're just, we're using a traditional blending block for laminates. This is not the uh, camo block, the C block or anything. Uh, although I'm sure that would look pretty cool. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get these. Okay. And we're gonna try to get all four molds here. We're gonna try. <laughs> okay. And last but not least. All right. Okay, that felt really good. And like I said, even, even at low temperatures, you know, I mean, that plastic's coming out great, so. Uh, well, that, that side plugged up in there, but as far as actual plastisol, um, I think those did really well. So, um, anyway, uh, fingers crossed, and uh, hopefully these turn out. Okay, drum roll, please. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's see. So there's kind of darker side and lighter side right there. Let's see, we'll get these out. Take a look at those. Yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, check these out too. Oh yeah. It's a handful of morning dawn. So yeah, that's it guys. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful color and I think I should have been making it a, uh, a long time ago. <laughs> Don't know why I'm just now uh, doing it, but um, yeah, really, really cool color. I've seen it a lot. Uh, I've seen it in some of the uh, plastic groups and um, you know, I've, I've, I've seen people really, really knock this one out of the park. And, um, and I, think it's, uh, I think it's a winner of a color. Yeah, and uh, here it is, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, real quick in a fluke. Um, so I have to make some morning dawn flukes and then I actually need to do some trick worms as well. Um, you know, but for color purposes, I thought the Cinco's uh, really made it look good. Um, I think I see probably more Cinco's in morning dawn than, than maybe other baits. So I, I definitely said, yeah, I, I've got to get the Cinco's on there. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. What do you think? Okay, um, here are uh, the morning dawn trick worms. So, um, gotta make a bunch of these. Let's see. These dreams of sleep when it's cold outside. I love heart. Yeah, so that's, that's it in the uh, trick worm right there. Um, so, that's what it looks like in all three of the baits that I have to make. And, um, yeah. I'm really digging this color. All right, well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, hope you've enjoyed this episode of Popular Colors. Um, it's a uh, it's it's a really pretty color. I've um, like I said, I I had really only made it for the first time earlier this week um, when I was kind of experimenting with it uh, for this exact order. So the order was 90 baits total. Um, so not like a huge order, but um, enough to, uh, to to have some fun with the color and really see what you can do with it. Um, so I would like to see it in a couple of other baits. So if I have any leftovers, I'll uh, I'll probably shoot some other molds and and uh, see what else I can do with it. But um, anyway, hope everyone's having a good week and uh, you know, many more videos to come. We have some cool things coming up, and uh, I'm I'm excited about 2019 and. Hopefully the channel keeps growing. So thank you again for uh, watching and your support. Um, shoot me a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think about today's video. Um, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, we will see you next time on the world's worst fishing.